seems like. Oh, and that nice, yeah. Terrific. Thank you. I appreciate um, that. I um, have been cutting a bunch of <coughs> short films that are sort of in the style that Wes Anderson does, and it's it's right. always a tough thing to balance uh, the dry wit mm -hmm. with the easy sort of shot. Right. And how do you know when um, to rest? Not how how to figure out when you're resting on your laurels, and you should like rip it open, go further. Play it, um, you know, play it some more, or just kind of let the thing sit. Honestly, if, if it's a question of rhythm um, and how much it's serving where it's where that rest or that break may occur in the structure, and uh, if it's if you feel that it's a comedic or poignant and it's worth it, or you want to challenge your audience somewhat, uh, I think that's what West, West's aesthetic is much more towards challenging his audience to follow his rhythms, and you know, in the Judd movies. We're much more about let's just keep them laughing and right. we'll keep swinging away. So, um, if if it's something that you want to make a statement with, by all means, you should be fearless about it. Uh, that being said, we are in a business of entertaining, and um, you want people to enjoy it. So, um, try to watch it as a viewer and as a filmmaker all at the same time, if that's possible. Um, we're from a high school in Chicago. Oh, and, uh, great. Yeah, we're here with um, seven other five other kids, and mm -hmm. it mean a lot to us if you just gave us some advice on how we can get into the industry. Um, Are you sure know, you want to do that? Easy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> I am sure, I'm very sure. Well, um, the way I found was uh, I just sort of, in the film days, it was significantly different from now. Um, I think it must start with a familiarity with the uh, with the equipment that you will be expected to perform so quickly on for these people. So you have to become extremely comfortable. Best way to do that, I think, it would be to just catalog some of your own film. Even take a movie, like take one of Wes's movies and recut a scene from Bottle Rocket and, and see if it plays better. Uh, it, obviously, you, you can't separate the dialogue and music, but um, I had the great benefit of starting on film and um, you know, I could go in the room and cut it together and show it to my editor uh, and then get feedback from him. And I should point out really quick that back then when you cut a scene on film, you know, you really literally spliced it. And if you had trouble with a certain cut, there would be all these splices, like come here, and you'd be watching the machine and it would come through to go <laughs> and the editor would go, you had a little trouble with that one, did you? So it was, your process was really exposed. But not so today. Now you can just, just hammer away at it and try to get it right. Um, Studying post-production is a whole different uh, thing. I mean, it's, you, it's not like you can say, I want to be a director or an editor. Uh, I, I don't believe that. I think you have to choose nowadays and, and commit to it because there is a great amount of competition out there and there are people who dearly care about it and who want it from day one, much like, I guess, a dentist or a lawyer or something if you commit to it in the beginning. Editing is a very fluid thing to try and get a hold of. And uh, the only way I can think of now for you kids on like all this digital technology is to become a master at it. Thank you. Also, yeah, I wish you luck. Tell Wes Anderson I say hi. I will. <laughs> as soon as he gets back from Paris. <clears throat> uh, the, role, the role of a film editor is both overt and it's also very behind the scenes about what, what everyone sees. Very much I so. Mean, you have the constraints of the script and the director. Mm -hmm. uh, looking over your career, what would you say as an editor that you know you ascribe to you that is you, very personal to you that you see throughout your career? Um, creating an environment where the directors can relax and have some fun, and as I say, uh, remind them that it, you're not curing cancer. Um, and with that in mind, uh, one is able to, I think, at the same time, while being a filmmaker, be a, a, a viewer, and and I try to remain that. My, my wife tries to get me to go to the movies all the time. It's sort of a busman's holiday for me, I won't be honest with you. Going to a movie on a Friday night after being in the cutting room all week is not like, oh, good. <laughs> That's not what I like. Um, but still, I, I am a fan of the movies I work on because I hope I can and view it in that way. And it leads to, you know, it can lead to conflict with the director. Um, so that's what I think I'm most proud of, is creating an environment of, of comfort and creativity. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, we're running short on time, guys. We want All to make right. sure you can get good into luck. the session. So thank you again, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>